There have been multiple reports about Caleb Williams and the offense struggling for the Chicago Bears in training camp. But let me give you guys the biggest reason why I am not worried one bit. And no, it's not what you think. What is going on, y'all? Fast Four Style back at it with another video talking. Some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, hit that subscribe button, people. The season is right around the corner. You are not going to want to miss out. Tune in, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video as well. All right, so we have seen the reports out there of the offense struggling, and it's becoming a reoccurrence throughout these training camp reports. All right, if you haven't seen it, it's out there. You can check out the Bears beat reporters. They have been talking about how Caleb and, and the offense has been struggling in particular, it's Caleb holding on to the football a little longer and, you know, not being able to go ahead and, and find guys and whatnot. And I'm telling you right here, right now, I am not worried one bit, but there's a specific reason for that. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was important because when I realized this and I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that makes all the sense in the world. All right. So the reason people typically will think that is, hey, it's just training camp, right? It doesn't correlate to the season in terms of you know how you perform it's kind of like preseason right where hey it doesn't matter how you do in preseason it could be totally different in the regular season but it's actually something else all right it's the fact that the offense that the bears are running right now with shane waldron is an offense that pushes the football down the field versus luke getsy and his offense which was just more predicated on sort of a horizontal game and getting these short check downs and completions. So Greg Braggs, uh, who was uh, part of the CHGO network, he brought up this on his tweet and, and I had to share with you guys. This. So Greg Braggs said the following, he said, people continue to ask me what the differences are between this year's offense at camp versus last year, Justin versus Caleb, Getsy versus Waldron. Well, first off, I honestly would say it felt like there were more completions last or maybe less incompletions because there wasn't an emphasis to push the ball down the field. Everything was side to side. There were days where Justin had very good seven on sevens, but all the passes were check downs. This year, as I've said, they're attacking all three levels of the field in a much more balanced way. You're seeing slip strings, rollouts to the flat, check downs to the RBs, different arm angles to create unique catches, Swift making nice adjustments on some tricky catches as well. Uh, middle of the field throws consist of some really nice post routes where Caleb has shown conviction with his anticipation and fastball. He has real zip on throws when he wants to. Gerald Everett, DJ Moore, and Keenan Allen seem to be the beneficiary of many of these throws I've seen at the six practices I've been to. I've seen more than a few throws where Caleb exhibits nice touch over a linebacker hands as well. We've seen many throws downfield in comparison to last year. It's not even close, to be honest. Bombs to DJ, Rome, Scott, Everett. On the move on a three levels, Caleb is deadly in terms of velocity and accuracy. But the deep throws on the move are the most impressive in terms of difficulty. His back shoulder throws show a good sense of placement. His over-the-top bombs do a nice job of leading the receiver and making it a very catchable ball. Time will tell. But Waldron's office seems to want to spread it out more to different weapons in different areas of the field, as opposed to the side-to-side -side screen game and quick passing game last year with Lou Getze, which felt like DJ or bust. And he did go on to talk about more differences between, you know, Justin and, and Caleb and their games. I don't want to get into all that, but the point that I wanted to make was in terms of the offense, which is what Greg Bragg said, Shane Waldron wants to use the entire field and challenge defenses vertically. And when you do that, you are going to get, like Greg said, more incompletions, right? In training camp, you want to take those shots. You want to go ahead and see the windows that you can, you know, hit, the one windows that you can get the fit the football through. You want to be able to see those things because during the regular season games, during the real games, it is going to be that tight. And so it's very easy to go ahead and have, you know, multiple wide receiver screens, running back screens, and get these easy check down completions. No, I want to push the football down the field. And that is why you are seeing Caleb struggle here because he is trying to go through his progressions and trying to find the guy as opposed to being a one-read quarterback, something Justin Fields did struggle with in his time in Chicago. So to me, 
that is a good thing, right? That the offense is predicated on being a three-level offense and challenging short, middle, and deep. So I love that, and that's why I'm telling you guys when the regular season rolls around, I'm not worried because Caleb is going to try to do that, right? If Caleb goes out there and all we see him throw is screens and checkdowns, I'm going to lose my mind because I'm going to be like, this kid has all the talent in the world. Why are you not challenging defenses down the field? You better go ahead and do that. Shane Waldron realizes that, and that's what he's doing. So him struggling in a training camp, him struggling in the 7-on-7s, 11-on-11s, so be it, all right? I'm not worried. Practice is the time to throw interceptions. It's the time to try stuff. It's the time to go ahead and experiment. But when it comes to the regular games, when it comes to the regular season and the games actually matter, you are going to see the actual offense come out and be able to move the football down the field and not just be a check down Charlie type of offense. So to me, that is the biggest reason I'm not worried about Caleb struggling in training camp because I know even if early on they do struggle, even in the regular season, later on it'll benefit us, right? It'll benefit us because that is truly how you are going to win football, uh, at win real football games that matter later down, right, in December and January, right? Patrick Mahomes hasn't won these Super Bowls checking the football down, right? You got to challenge these teams deep. That is what Waldron wants to do with Getty. He wants, excuse me, with with Caleb. He wants to go ahead and utilize all the weapons we have. It's not just DJ or Bust. We got Keenan. We got Rome. We got Everett. We got Cole. Like we got all these off uh, offensive pieces. Not to mention DeAndre Swift. We're utilizing all of them, and we're utilizing the entire field. So I love that. So that to me is the biggest reason why I'm not worried, and I'm actually very optimistic for the offense for that reason. Just gotta hope the offensive line holds up. But that's another conversation for another day. Let me know what you guys think about that. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts as always. Thanks for watching.